So what I've got here is kind of a little short video I put together of some of the lost models. And these are Lego models that I put together that I didn't really get any kind of real video, video footage on. You know, I have some, but I meant to, you know, do it over and didn't get the time. And, and of course, these models are now being taken apart to be used for other creations. So the first model I want to introduce you to is my bricklayer prototype. Now this was kind of a challenge because I wanted to make something that could lay two rows of dominoes at once, all mechanically. There was supposed to be no, no robotics involved at all. It was purely supposed to work on mechanical principle and lay out two sets of dominoes at once and then you just fill the curves in. The problem with it was is that regular dominoes pieces don't match up with the Lego dimensions. So the Lego pieces, their dimensions don't match up nicely with the pieces you find in a normal domino set. So I ended up having to scratch the idea of using regular dominoes in it, so I switched to using two by four blocks and putting caps on them. And yeah, the idea sort of worked, but as you'll see in the video, there's a couple of problems with it. Number one, the spacing between each block after it places it is too much. And number two, it has terrible reliability. The, the ejector mechanisms for each row to eject the block out don't seem to work very well. So and you'll see that in the video. And the second one is another creation that I've put together. And it's gone through multiple phases with different redesigns. I've recently changed into something else, which will probably have a video of it up here pretty shortly. But it's the it's the concept I've done with using a vehicle and a trailer that's pulled with it. And at first the trailer's been around for a while. I actually used the trailer with the Lego road train concept I did back when I had Dickie Bertha. And it was just kind of a small trailer with some windows in it and some minifigures. And if you look back at the Lego Road Train video, you'll see the trailer and actually see from inside of it when I put a camera in it when it was being towed. Now, in Brick Fair 2010, I designed a vehicle that used rack and pinion steering and also a differential gear so it act as a car. And then I adapted the trailer to become a bumper pull trailer, kind of like a, a real bumper pull based trailer. And if we be pulled behind it, it had the same kind of design as before. And then for 2011 and 2012, it, the design of it changed. I made the trailer a little bit longer, added another set of wheels to it. And I also made it a fifth wheel or a gooseneck. So changed that design around. I also changed the vehicle around that pulls it. Because it's not a bumper pull anymore, I had it adapted to be a fifth wheel design. And so I changed it up to where it used the Ackerman steering concept. It still had a rear differential, but it had enhanced rack and pinion steering using the Ackerman steering principle. <sighs> and the Ackerman steering principle, the way it works, is that on an inside, on a turn, the inside wheel will turn more in the number of degrees than the outside wheel. So each wheel has a different, it's drawing a circle of a different radii if you were to plot it out on paper. And the reason for this is because if you use traditional rack and pinion steering, the car will want to tend to push outwards in the turn because each wheel is at the same angle of deflection with Ackerman steering. Each one of them is at a different angle. So it helps track in the turn so it doesn't skid and push. A real auto uh, automobile has a modified Ackerman steering setup for the same reason. So you'll see that one right after the bricklayer prototype. So let's get on and, and look at some of these models uh, that have gotten lost.
uh, be quiet.